Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start for Buried Structures Lesson 4. Creating Drawing Sheets. We are going to continue with the model of our vault we reinforced in the previous lesson. I deleted the views we created so we can start from scratch. We need to go into our building structure by double left clicking in an empty space in the model. On the left, we have the building structure where everything you model should be located, and to the right is titled Derived from Building Structure. This is where all your views, sections, and such will be located. This is what we will be bringing into your drawing sheets. For more information on the building structure, please refer to the Quick Start Guide for Buildings. Now we can start recreating our views. To do so, we will go to Create View. We can then select which view you want to create. We will first create a plan view, so we need to click inside the square. You can then adjust how your view is going to be presented by the options in the palette. Typically, you want to have the views on your drawing sheet as hidden views. To do this, select Formats, scroll down and check Hidden Edges. Before we place the view, we first need to determine the destination file you wish the view to be placed on. To do so, select Drawing Files and determine which file you would like to place the view on. Each view should be on its own file for ease of placement onto drawing sheets. We can then place the view by selecting the desired location in Plan View. When placing these onto your drawing sheets, you can better arrange them then, so correct placement right now isn't necessary. We will create three more views to place on a drawing sheet. The next view we will create is a front view. This time, we will select the arrow in the front position of the box, and then we can follow the same procedure as before. Don't forget to set the destination file before you place it. Go ahead and place the side view as well. Now we are going to add a 3D view that we can add onto our sheet. To do this, we will use the same create view command, but we will choose one of the corner arrows. For our 3D isometric view, we will add a surface and transparency by selecting a surface option and selecting the checkbox Consider Transparency. And now to set the destination file and place the view. Now we can add some dimensions and notes to the views. Let's start with adding reinforcement dimensions to the plan view. Right click on the rebar placement and choose Dimension Line Label. You can then choose the properties in the palette and then choose where you want the dimension line located and add the label. Go ahead and do this again for the perpendicular rebar placement. And now the stirrups in the front view. And now let's label a couple bars. We're going to do this by right clicking on the bar you want to label and choose Label.
you have different options as to how you want the label displayed in the palette to the left. Now we can add some overall dimensions in our side view by choosing the dimension line command. Choosing where you want the dimension line to be, then the location points to be dimensioned. Now that we have all our views and dimensions we want, we can start placing them on drawing sheets. To do this, we will go to the Layout Editor tab in our action bar. This will take us to our drawing sheet area. Our first step is going to be to add a border. Here you can specify the type of border and the size. Simply place the border at the corner of the page and then we can add a title block to the sheet by inserting a label. You can choose one from All Plans Library until you create your own. Once chosen, place the label where desired. And once you fill in the project's attribute information, these labels will populate automatically. Now to place in our views. Go to the layout element, click on the building structure icon, and select the first view file to bring in. All plan will now place each view into your drawing sheet one by one after you place it in the location you want. While placing, you can also choose different parameters for the view as well, such as scale, rotation, and so on. Once we have them placed, we can go ahead and move them to the desired location at any point. It seems we chose a scale that was a bit too small which is okay because now we can make the scale larger after the fact. Simply double click on the view box and many different options will appear including a scale drop down. Let's go ahead and choose a half inch scale and select OK. Let's go ahead and finish up by doing the same thing to all the other views. Once you have the views displayed how you want, you are finished.
Congratulations! You have successfully modeled a vault, placed them on a drawing sheet, and ready to be distributed.